dumela 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 koko re re tsena re kwa mogela ga pe molana go le ditimisang expresso on SABC3 now sculptor Stanislaw Trebinsky continues to create and deliver pieces that are hard to ignore due to their complexity and their attention to detail just take a look at the pieces on the table right now but now uh, he's back with the latest his latest uh, solo exhibition called Autis that consists of bronze sculptures complemented by prints on paper and steel and copper and it's uh, such a great privilege to have you here with us this morning. Dude, you were telling me at 20, you're 24 years old right now. Indeed. And this is what you're doing. What were we doing at 24 years old? Thank you Man. very much. Congratulations. And also, I've got to congratulate you on the fact that you're going to be part of a very um, special exhibition you were telling me right now in London 2017, uh, Christie's Auction House, right? Indeed. Tell me, uh, what does it mean for you at such a young age as an artist to be able to be part of some of the world's best and to be exhibiting on the same table as they are? Well, it's a, it's a great honor and a privilege as well. I mean, I've had a lot of people in my life that have given me the right guidance. Yeah. Um, and I think that not a lot of 24-year-olds can say that they have, um, you know, gotten into such a prestigious thing. Um, and, you know, it's, it's also a great thing to be representing South Africa in the design field as well. So yeah. I'd like to thank Southern Guild for that as well. They're the people that kind of coordinated that. Absolutely. And yeah. coming from Mombasa, I understand, you, yeah. you, you, you come from Mombasa uh, in Kenya and you are residing in, in Cape Town right now. Mm. Where did all of this start for you and do you kind of use where you come from as inspiration for the works you create? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, you know, I was born in Mombasa, I grew up on the Kenyan coast um, and I, I had a very wild childhood. Um, you know, being outdoors was a lot of, that was what we used to do on weekends with my dad. Um, and, you know, ha having that as a child and then moving to this kind of urban environment it kind of really uh, caused me to look at like what it was that I really valued in, in life. Um, and th that was really the outdoors. And you know, in today's day and age, we're kind of destroying them. Um, <laughs> and so I think that you know, art and artists, uh, the role in society, so to speak, is to kind of you know, comment on the issues that are current. And yeah. for me, that happens to be you know, the plight of the natural world. And so this is where your latest solo exhibition, Ortis, come in, comes into play, right? Yeah, I mean, Ortis is Latin for origins, or kind of, you know, the beginnings of the wind. Um, and there's a certain sense of storytelling in that. So I'm, I'm kind of inviting the viewer to take a closer look at our roots. Uh, because essentially we all came from, you know, we're, we're all interconnected, whether we like to think it or not. I mean, humans are quite arrogant thinking that we're above everything. Mm. Um, and so this is like, you know, if it's my intention to this body of works to kind of comment on how as the view, you know, as humans, we have a responsibility um, to, you know, care for the other beings on this planet. Yeah. Uh, if there's a youngster watching, it, watching this out there and they're looking at the incredible attention to detail, we've been getting some close up shots, seeing these pictures. How did you come to master the human anatomy in this way that the details are just, they're incredible? Uh, trial and error. I mean, I'm, I'm completely self-taught. Uh, wow. So in, in the beginning, I kind of, I really struggled to get it, and it's just, you know, practice, practice, practice. Yeah. Uh, if you put your head to something, I mean, being an artist is not easy because you're self-employed, um, and you also don't have a boss. Yeah. So you make your own hours. Very easy to motivation. Kind of man. How many but, times have you, have you burnt yourself? I can't even count. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's something that I'm sure that you you still enjoy. Uh, what what lies ahead for you now? Um, well, uh, there's the solo show runs until um, January the seventh. Um, and I'd really suggest going to see it. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's been a year's work for me. Um, mm -hmm. And in terms of my future, I think obviously bigger and better. That's, that's, that's the idea. We're wishing you all of the best, man. And uh, listen, if you're seeing this from your television screen right now, you need to see this up close and personal. So you can go to the Joyce Roy Gallery. And of course, that's where you can see Stash's Stas, Stas show called Autis. And it's running until the 7th of January. What that's inspiring stuff. Jan Roy's there. Gallery. There we go. There, Jan Royce. Oh, yeah, Jan Royce Gallery. <laughs> Thank you very much Thank for you. that. Uh, right now, it's time for a news update.